Good morning, people. It's uh, 6.15 a.m. Sun's not awake yet. It's trying to be, but it's not. So, we've had some interesting engagement uh, regarding Mr. Alex Jones and InfoWars. And so I wanted to clarify a couple of things. Um, number one, I do believe, as I said, that private businesses have the right to run their businesses however they see fit. And we can choose to support them or not support them. That's our business. Now, regarding a public utility, a lot of people have made the argument that Facebook, YouTube, Google are public utilities and that they represent a monopoly. Um, now, I will say that the expediency with which several social media platforms all banned InfoWars and Alex Jones at the, Jones at the same time absolutely is fishy. Absolutely. However, is that not their right? Did we not already know that these companies were a bunch of sleazeball scumbags anyway? Yes, we did. I've had a lot of people say, well, what would you do if they silence you? I would go to work tomorrow the same as I would whether or not I still had this YouTube platform. Now, I know that's hard to understand for a lot of people, but I do not use YouTube as a revenue stream. I do not use it as an advertising platform for my businesses. I do not, I do not run businesses that are dependent upon YouTube. Now, I understand that a lot of people do. Um, there's big money in it. But if you're going to build a business on somebody else's platform, you have to inherently understand that you are subject to the rules and conditions of that pl platform, always subject to change. I can't, if I had a business that made fenders for Hondas, and Honda changes their fender design. Do I get to sue Honda? No, I need to retool. I need to find options. I need to be diversified so that when, not if, but when Honda changes their fender design, I'm not out of business. That when YouTube changes their algorithm, I'm not out of business. That when Google says, oh, our terms of service changed, you're in violation, I'm not out of business. And that's the risk you take. We all love capitalism until the risks don't pay off, right? Or something happens. And then a lot of people get very protectionist. We can't decry the government on one hand and scream for their intervention on the other. We have to be principled in that. At least I'm going to be principled in that. Now, the argument has been made that because of the uh, insane amount of tax dollars that have been poured into these businesses at times, and because of the amount of government interaction with these businesses so far, that we, the people, should have some say in the way that they're run. I can understand that argument, but I'm going to tell you this. Do you want your health care through the VA? You as a private citizen, do you want single-payer health care? Do you think Social Security is an excellent example of how money should be managed? Then why would you want the government involved in your internet? So I understand where a lot of you people are coming from. And I understand that it's uncomfortable. And I understand that a lot of people see this as the beginning of the end. But I want to talk directly to my subscribers. To the people who are here for leadership, 
who are here for preparedness, who are here for tribe and fellowship, and who are here to learn. We know it's all going to hell in a handbasket anyway. What are you worried about? Oh no, the world's going to end. Uh, yeah, that's why we're here. Yeah, the world's going to end. I don't know what, I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know precisely what it's going to look like, but it doesn't scare me. It doesn't scare me when a giant company acts like a giant company. And it doesn't scare me when a man of question, questionable sanity acts rather insane. I'm not afraid of any of that. You know what I'm afraid of? Nothing. I've told you people before, in love, I have one weakness, and that is my family. And that weakness is so well protected that I don't lose sleep over it. Everything else, improvise, adapt, and overcome. So I see this as a signpost on the highway to hell. We know that we are in an end-stage decadent society here in America. We know the empire is going to collapse. I'm not afraid of that. That's why I'm preparing. Now, I do not want to hasten the day, but if it's going to happen, let it be in my time. We've talked about this in the past. I would rather deal with it personally than to put it off on the next generation. I would rather implement the militant farmer concept now than have to oversee my children bearing that burden. So, am I concerned? No. Is it shady? Yes. Should the government be involved? No. Does Alex Jones have a right to free speech? Yes. Was his free speech violated? No. He has options. Whether or not they're as good as YouTube, doesn't matter. He has options. That is the free market. It's not perfect, and I'm not saying that it is. But understand, you are watching this video because of it. And we don't get to complain about it on their platform without being hypocritical, says me. So, shalom and blessings. I feel like I'm going to have to do another one of these to clarify even further. But that's our morning update.